wanted to live at the center of the universe? Well, today I'm going to tell you about what it's like to work, live, and play in the center of the universe. Stay tuned. You won't want to miss everything that this town has to offer. I'm Holly. If you want to know everything that the Richmond metro area has to offer, including what it's like to work, live, and play right here in RVA, well, you've come to the right place. Be sure to subscribe and click on the bell so you'll receive notifications each time I upload a new video. I help people relocate to the area all the time, and I love hearing from y'all. So if you were thinking about moving to Richmond, Give me a call or shoot me a text at 804-380-6041 or send me an email, whichever is most convenient. Today, we are in the center of the universe, a small town that consists of about seven miles and about 7,000 residents, one that offers a train, a college, lots of small shops that are locally owned, farmer's market, and restaurants. We are in Ashland, Virginia. At the beginning of the video, you heard me refer to Ashland as the center of the universe. This is a little nickname that the town has adopted over the years for its central location within the state. This town dates back to the 1840s and was adopted by the railroad as one of their resort communities. Still today, you'll see a train track running right down through the center of town. And several times a day, you'll also see trains going up and down. So if you are a train enthusiast, you may want to take a look at the routes and the timetables because you will definitely want to sit back, relax, and watch the train drive by. On Railroad Street, you'll find the Ashland train station. You can see the train coming down the track and hear the conductor blowing the horn as it approaches the station. Also, don't miss the red caboose which is the Ashland Museum, where you can learn all about the history of the railroad town. If you are enjoying this content, be sure to click on the like button below. Also, if you'd like for me to explore an area for you, leave me a comment in the description. Railroad Street and the railroad tracks run north and south through town. England Street runs through town as well, crosses over the railroad tracks at one point. We're going to drive through town. What better way to experience Ashland than to see what's here today? from only being a railroad resort town to being a college town. Randolph-Macon made its home right in the heart of downtown Ashland. Today, 
It is the school of over 1,500 students. It's a liberal arts college and offers a variety of different majors for undergraduate students. The campus is absolutely stunning. Be sure to stay tuned for the full picture of a lot of things that this college campus has to offer. Ashland hasn't been always as big as it is today. When it was originally developed, it was only a little over one square mile. Today, as I mentioned earlier, it's a little over seven square miles. However, it still is full of character and charm. As you drive through the streets, be sure to notice all of the different Victorian styles and unique character that each house has to offer. If you're thinking about lifestyle factors, well, let me tell you a little bit about what Ashland has to offer. There's a farmer's market where you can visit each week and get fresh produce and fruits, flowers, local honey, crafts, home finishings, and lots more. It really is such a nice way to spend a couple hours and get your shopping done. There's also entertainment. Each summer, in I believe it's June, they hold the Ashland Strawberry Fair. This is held on the Randolph-Macon campus where hundreds of local vendors come. They set up booths. You have um, booths with local strawberries that have been picked for you to purchase. They sell uh, strawberry shortcakes and strawberry pies. There's lots of food trucks, music and entertainment, tons and tons for everyone to enjoy. As we drive down College Avenue and enjoy the beautiful campus, Picture a warm sunny day with lots of vendors tents lining both sides of the street. The smells of the delicious food trucks coming through the air and the hubbub and bustle of people walking their dogs, browsing through the different booths, making purchases or just enjoying some time with family and friends all while indulging in that favorite strawberry sweet treat. Along England Street and Railroad Street, which are two of the main thoroughfares through town, you'll find lots of local shops and restaurants. If you are in the mood for an amazing egg salad, tuna salad, or chicken salad sandwich, be sure to stop by Homemades by Suzanne. This is a local company that has been around for years and years, and they have, in my opinion, some of the very best egg salad, chicken salad, and tuna salad croissants or sandwiches around. There's also Ashland coffee and tea. So if you just want to grab a, qu a quick refreshment, be sure to stop by and see them or feel free to stop in if it's a little later on in the day to caboose wine and cheese. Relax and enjoy the atmosphere. Of course, no tour of Ashland would be complete without mentioning the Ashland Theater. It's a historic venue that has in recent years been remodeled to bring it back to its beautiful charm of years past. The mission is to reinvent the classic American movie house experience through exceptional film, live performances, and live music. Be sure to check the calendar on a regular basis so you know the different offerings that this venue provides. So what do you think? Does this look like a place where you could work, live, and play in RVA? Come join me. I'd love to show you around. Give me a call or shoot me a text at 804-380-6041 or send me an email, whichever is most convenient. If you want to know more about Hanover County, be sure to check out the playlist here. If you want to know more about the Richmond metro area in general, be sure to check out these two videos.